Yeah, you can't run a telescope without us. <laughs> I'm a telescope operator, so I operate the telescope. Um, I open up the dome at night and move the telescope around and then close up and watch the weather and watch the people and make sure everybody is safe, including all of the instruments in the telescope. So if bad weather moves in, then we close up. And if we need to, then I'm the one who tells everybody to leave the summit and stay safe. Absolutely. It's, it's pretty cool. It's, I really like being up at the summit at night, and I really like being able to see, you know, what's going on in the astronomy world, and it's it's very cool. So at Subaru, I've been here since 2011, um, but I've been operating telescopes since t 2007. I like telescopes; they're fun. <laughs> I studied astronomy and physics at Arizona, so University of Arizona. Yay. Um, and while I was there, I, um, I worked at a couple of different telescopes and a couple of big observatories, and I really liked it. Um, and then right about when I was graduating, Subaru happened to be hiring a telescope operator, and I thought it was pretty good timing. And apparently it was, because I ended up here. <clears throat> I did some work with optics. And then I also, as an undergrad, I did some work on transiting exoplanets. Um, and I did a whole lot of work observing at the 61 inch on Mount Bigelow, Arizona, so Mount Lemmon. And that was pretty cool, obviously, as an undergrad. <laughs> so what I think is really cool is being at Subaru while all of these really, really interesting projects come through and getting to see the results firsthand. So. I mean, I was up there while we took a picture of the Hayabusa 2 spacecraft, and that was really cool to see. Um, also, I've been up there while the, um, the comics people were looking at Jupiter's aurora, which was really cool to see. Or when Skexeo is doing their uh, direct imaging of extrasolar planets, also really cool. So just seeing some of these really awesome projects come through and seeing the first data is really pretty interesting, I think. There are a lot of challenging things. I think the altitude is certainly one of the most challenging. It makes everything we do hard. <laughs> Just anything that we have to do at all becomes much, much harder at 13,000 feet elevation. So the most difficult, again, I think this is altitude. Um, it used to be that we had observers coming out here, and when we did, keeping them safe up there was really important. So as an operator, we're uh, first responder trained, right? So medically EMR trained, which means if something goes wrong, if somebody's having troubles with the altitude, we're the ones on call. We're the ones to say, okay, we need to take you down and go to the hospital, or actually let me get you some water and some oxygen and maybe it's okay. Um, so sometimes that stuff can get really, really scary. <laughs> and that's definitely one of the things that I like least about this job is being responsible for so many people, but it's okay. In the end, it mostly works out. I'd say the second most difficult thing is probably running up and down the stairs when things break. <laughs> so we have an elevator that goes from, you know, ground floor up to the top, but at night when the telescope is not aligned or if it's really bad weather, we're not allowed to use that elevator. So instead, we have to physically walk up like 250 stairs to reset things. And I can think of a few times where like the main shutter was open and fog was coming in and we had to close it and it got stuck. And then you, you can't just walk up the stairs. You have to run up the stairs really fast before the fog gets there to re-push the button and reset things and make sure that it closes in time. And running up 250 stairs at altitude is not fun. <laughs> That's very hard. <laughs> yeah, so I brought a couple of things. Um, safety first, right? So hard hat. Anytime we go into the dome at night, um, we have to wear one of these, right? So to stay safe and protect our head. A hat, because it is very cold up there. <laughs> and I would have brought a big blue fluffy jacket, but unfortunately it's in my locker at the summit, so I don't have it with me. And then 
last is um, flashlights. Because anytime we go outside or into the dome, we have to be able to see what we're doing. And it is surprising how dark the inside of a telescope can be. So, flashlights. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can't tell you the correct answer, but I can say the thing that's helped me is to find something that you like doing and keep doing it until you get really, really good at it and someone will pay you to do it. <laughs> and most important, I think, is to just stay focused on whatever it is that you want to keep doing. And that's all I've got. <laughs>